Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another week full of tea. It is Tuesday. Yesterday was all about chill Mondays, and today is like back to normal. I know, like this is a real Monday. No, I'm just kidding. I know it's Tuesday, one day less for the weekend, right? Girl, it is time to do our top pop of the morning because we are about to go down this like spiral of everything that is going down on this pop culture streets, which during the weekend it was like a lot, okay? From Miss, uh, Miss Universe to Prince Harry to like awards, like everything was going on this weekend, and we definitely need to talk about some of those things, right? But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you want to support my channel, now you can do it through the thank bottom right here. And let's talk about this uh, mess. Not today, Satan. Not today, Nick. Not today, Ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where That's my opinion! Alright, you ruined right. 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 You did. Okay. What the f is this? The lies! There you the go! Lies. You are the biggest bully in Hollywood and everyone knows it. Hello everyone and before we start it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose Forever. They did this amazing bouquet of flowers with special oils that will make the roses last up to a year. This is the perfect gift for you, your mom, your wife, your husband, whatever you want to say, I'm sorry, I love you, I miss you, say it with these beautiful flowers. So if you want to get your bouquet right now, go to the link on the description below and use my discount code ANDY25 and you will get $25 off your order. Again, this is the perfect gift for anyone. So whatever you want to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever. Welcome back everyone and it is time to do the top pop of the morning. So let's just dive in into item number one because Miss Universe took place on Saturday. A lot of people didn't even knew that that's still a thing, but yes, it's still happening. Um, I, I, honestly, like I, I, I remember that it used to belong to like Donald Trump. It doesn't belong to him anymore. Uh, now it's it has it did like a 180. It's very inclusive, you know. They now they are accepting like even like moms and and single women. Like it's like a whole. Uh, I'm sorry, married women. Like it's a whole thing, you know. Like I think before that you could like if you have kids, you were automatically like out. Now they did a whole, it's a whole different set of rules. Uh, there is a lot of diversity. Like girl, they're going through the right way, okay? But at the same time, people were not happy at all after Miss USA was crowned Miss Universe. And I'm gonna tell you why, you know? Like, look, these ladies were beautiful, but if you watch Miss Universe, you know, you know that Miss Venezuela was way more um, cuter than Miss USA. And yes, okay, let's say that it's not all about beauty, like outside beauty, which is still a beauty pageant, but whatever. Let's say that you want to take other things in, into accountability. Let's all remember that the answer of Miss Venezuela was completely a thousand times better than Miss USA, okay? Because when they tried to shake her and even bring uh, someone to translate her answer from Spanish to English, okay, and they translate like the question into Spanish, she was like, uh, bitch, hold my beer because I do speak English. And she answers in English, okay, and she gave an amazing answer. Like everyone was 100, when it came to those two, Everyone was 100% sure that Miss Universe was going to be Miss Venezuela. And what they did? Nope, they give it to Miss USA. Let's say that social media world is not happy at all. The memes, like there is even a video of Miss Kosovo watching like the coronation and being like, what the fuck is this? You know? 
So anyways, um, yeah, if you're watching Miss Universe, let me know what you think in the comments below about Miss USA being crowned, okay? And I don't know. Let me know. So now let's move on into the next one because another big thing that happened during the weekend was Miss Britney Spears. You know, she was at a restaurant. She was like having dinner and then a bunch of videos start going everywhere. Uh, and TMC came forward saying like, oh, Britney Spears had a manic episode, you know, and she was babbling and she was like saying all these things, you know, and Samus Gordy, her husband was there and he just stand up and, and, and left, you know, and was like, you ruined date night, you know, and she, he left her there. That was like all the shit that TMC was saying, okay? Well, apparently, you know, it was not like that at all. And people are not happy with TMC for spreading all those fake information about Britney Spears. Now, Sam Asgardi is also coming forward, explaining what happened, right? And apparently, it all came down that Britney sat down to have a normal, regular dinner and a bunch of people start filming her and making her very uncomfortable. Think that people from the restaurant didn't um, do anything, anything to prevent, okay? So she got very upset and Sam just stood up to and went outside to get the car and she was waiting for the car. So there was no manic episode, there was no fight, there was none of that BS. So I still don't un understand why in 2023 we still have to go around saying leave Britney alone. Like what is the point? Like just let this girl leave, all right? Okay, let's move on into item number three because apparently Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, okay, they were not welcome at the tea party for the 2023 BAFTA Awards. And girl, that's one of the highlights here in LA. So the fact that those were not Welcome has everyone in, in, in town talking about it, okay? So let me read you this very quickly. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle reportedly were not welcome at the Star Star 2023 BAFTA Tea Party in Los Angeles on Saturday amid their drama with the royal family. BAFTA decided it was a terrible idea. A consultant for the charitable organization claimed to The Sun on Sunday adding they thought it would be a PR disaster. The source pointed out that ha uh, Harry's estranged brother, Prince Williams, is the president of BAFTA, so executive allegedly felt that extending an invitation to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex for the annual event would be a mistake. For them to roll out the red carpet to Harry and his wife will be like setting up a nuclear bomb. It's a no-go, the insider told the British newspaper, adding that Harry roundly attacked his family in both his Netflix docuseries and his memoir. Additional, the prospect of Harry or Meghan Markle speaking about William at the event was enough to keep them off the guest list, according to the report. Any interview will go viral. Anything negative on William will be devastating. Girl, I mean, those two, I don't even know where, when, where that is going to end. Like, they are being cut from everywhere. So, I mean, it's going, I mean, I... I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what did you think about that one. And last but no least, girl, let's talk about item number four, and it's going to be all about Miss Shakira. Shakira, okay? So by now you probably know that Shakira has a new song, which it, it went kind of like number one everywhere. It has like millions and millions, like crazy millions of views by now. And it's all a song. It's a song in Spanish, and it's all about his ex. PK, right? The football player. And the girl, she was like, she was like, fuck this shit. Like, I am not gonna be subtle. I am not gonna pretend that it's not about him. It's called, it's like, bitch, this, this song is for you. You know? <laughs> she blasted him. 
she uh, talk about the mistress, she talk about everyone in this song, you know, she uh, names the, the mother-in-law, she names everyone, okay, and people are living for it, all right, well, there has been, you know, like, a, um, how do you say that, like, a, one after the other, you know, like, they respond to each other on like weird ways. Um, so, for example, like Shakira was uh, seen during the weekend blasting her song, you know, all day long. So, if, we, if you will drive uh, through, like, uh, in front of Shakira's house, you will hear her song, like, blasting all day long and then she goes on and she put a mannequin of a witch on the window and the mannequin is looking towards her mother-in-law's house which is in front of her okay like tell me that like the most beautiful pettiness thing that you have ever seen like we need Shakira on the real housewife you know like I mean this is what we need right now well after that uh, th there is a bunch of things going on. Like uh, she makes a reference in this in the in the song, saying like you exchange um, a Mercedes for a Twingo, which is a very cheap car. So uh, saying that you know that PK changed her for this other weird girl, right? And then PK goes on. He bought a Twingo, and he's literally driving around the city. In the Twingo, you know, she also said on the song like you exchange a Rolex for a Casio, which is a very cheap uh, watch, you know. And then PK on an interview goes on and says, "Yes, I, I do have a Casio now, but what we do know is that Casios actually are for life. Like, girl, they are going back and forward, back and forward. That's the word, back and forward. Like, I am living for this." level of pettiness i don't know how this is gonna end i don't know how far they they're gonna take this but bitch shakira is not happy and i don't know so anyways that's the top up of the morning let me know what you guys think on the comments below about all of these items and like always don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you around see ya bye